It's I Do Notes episode 121. You want to talk 854? Well, let's talk what's out there now. It's few clicks. Welcome, everybody. It's another I Do Notes podcast. Down at Lotusphere this past year, they talked a lot about all the new features coming in 854, talking about the way you'll be able to sort the inbox better, the way you'll be able to see it by sender, better date management, be able to categorize things together, which kind of existed a long time ago in earlier releases and templates and notes. But what you didn't know, and maybe you haven't read, is there's a partner that's been doing it for a while, and I wanted to show you exactly what they've done. It's called Few Clicks is the product. Synaptris is the one that wrote it, and I did a little demo real quick so we can take a look at it. So let's take a look at few clicks. I jumped right in from the mail file because we'll take a look. You'll get to see is this is what Synaptris made. And it's a great little product that sits locally on your PC versions. What we're going to take a look at is the layout. As you can see, standard mail, it's off your workspace. It's in your action menu. I have it installed twice for things. What we'll get is a listing categorized of all the different mail messages from the folder in. We can search our mail and our archives so everything is available. There's time synchronization to keep this in sync with your mail file. So it sits to the side of it. You can sync, as you see, from now never to synchronize immediately or every few minutes that's in there. What we're able to do is standard messaging, reply, forward, move it to a folder. Uh, we can select the folder we want to work with. There's smart views, so we can sort our mail quickly by sender and size and attachments. So this has been around for a little while and out there. Uh, this is a great way for users to work with their mail file and actually manipulate it overall. One of the benefits of all this is that everything in here is easily manipulated, meaning I can work quickly through my mail to sort things down as I need to. As you can see, it's a large mail file on purpose. I did a big inbox. So we'll go over and say, you know what, show me seven days. So quickly, there's seven days worth of mail. Uh, if I want to say, show me a different date range, I'm able to go all the way back through as old as the mail file. You see 98 sitting on there, scary as that might be. It's been around for a while. And I can select individual dates if I need to. Um, I can select everything and then I can set filters for messages is what's inside of it. And as you see, greater than, less than, whatever else you want to do. Now from there, I can quickly manipulate based on other parts of the mail message that may be included. So we already said seven days. We've already got that in there. Let's say now I want to do by attachment type. So I select just PDFs in seven, or how about just PDFs in 30? So I can see every message that contained just that attachment type in those days. And we're not even sorting the other pieces yet and talking about senders and subjects. We're just quickly working. On the right, we would show who the recipients are, and I'm not sure what that PDF is, so we're not going to open that just yet. We'll go through some more sorting in a few minutes. As you can see, the other ones are grayed out, which means in that 30-day window, there are no attachment types. Uh, we'll have to go ahead and clear this so we can get in there and work with the other messages. We'll get another list going. So there's everything in 30 days with no attachment type selected. Let's expand it to 90 days, a lot more mail. Now you can see we have other things highlighted. There's all present, I mean, all set of spreadsheets, excuse me, that appear within the last 90. There's nothing there for presentations. So we'll go into all and we'll be able to select the ones else we want to see. Uh, let's see if there's any JPEGs in there. And uh, we had the PDFs already. So now we have two items in the last month, three that are a little bit older, just by the drop downs. Now, if I select any of the messages, what we'll get in the right is who was included in the message itself. You'll see the spreadsheet of type up there for the attachment. And then I can sort and work through custom menus of people that are included in the view. I can do subjects, date ranges, and then once again, size and attachments. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and clean up these menus one more time. So something else I left off is that you're able to actually also say things are just to you or by priority. So not only can I use date ranges, I can say, give me all the mail that's, let's say unread. And in the unread, we wanna have mail that came in so many days that's unread that has certain attachment types. So you can quickly now manipulate through. So we'll clear everything. I'll show you it's a big mail file again. We'll go up and we'll say, you know what? Like give me unread, give me the range 90 days, and give me everything with a spreadsheet. So just that fast, I'm gonna get those messages with spreadsheets inside of it. And then in the last month, there you go. That is an amazing sorting ability for your users, a way to manipulate their mail file. Uh, it's a few clicks from Sinatris. I would have them take a look and download the trial version as soon as you can. So there you have it. It's a demo from a few clicks. Uh, they came down to IMLUG a couple years ago, did a great demonstration, actually had some great feedback. Haven't heard a lot about them recently, but as you see, they do everything you could pretty much want to do today. It is Windows only, as I mentioned in the screencast itself, so you want to be aware of that. Otherwise, I think you should go get yourself a trial download. They do offer them. I'll put a link in the show notes for you. Let them know what you think or let me know if that's what you're looking for in the new update from 854. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube.